we all recognize that something unique happened after the Parkland shooting. And that is that corporate America really understood for the first time that there's a real cost to having their most valuable asset, their brand, associated with the gun industry and associated with the NRA. You look at businesses that are doing the right thing, all of their good decisions get shared by a very assertive social media presence and it's good for business when they make these decisions. Number one, does the business have a policy asking their customers not to bring guns into their stores? Have they given money to the top 25 recipients of NRA dollars in Congress? And have they publicly demanded, have they publicly asked for gun reform? They got points in each of those categories that totaled up to 100, and we've graded all of them. Stop handgun violence and change the ref. We're working on gun safety certification using our son Joaquin Oliver's image on it. Joaquin's image has been an iconic image since we lost him in the Portland shooting. And you know, the power of this idea really harkens back to how companies began to understand that there's a real market for folks who like organic food, right? Or there's a right. real market for folks who like vegan food or, or products that weren't tested on animals, for instance. And you're really using that same kind of concept to push companies to recognize that there's such a big market out there of Americans who support gun safety reform and expect We base it, yeah, we base it on the business point of view. Yeah. Uh, in this case, we needed to stop thinking as an activist, which is very hard for us, <laughs> and stop thinking as a father of a victim, which is impossible. But we decided, okay, let's talk <coughs> business here. It's, it's about money. So let's do some research, which is easy when it comes to universal background check, and you find a percentage of acceptance that is crazy. It's not like any other, 97%. So that brings an opportunity for this business to enroll into that movement. Now this is gun safety certified. Part of it is thanking companies that have the gun safety certified mark for leading in this direction. But the other I think is urging young Americans, all, all types of Americans, to really use the power they have as consumers to push the companies that may have right now a D or an F to push them to do yeah. better. So next time you're at a low-rated company like our business, like Kohl's, for instance, you can go ahead and, and shop at Kohl's, but when you do, have a letter, what we're calling a manager's letter that you printed off from businessmustact.org, and with that purchase, hand over the letter and just tell the cashier very nicely, hey, we expect you guys to do better on this. This is important to us, your customers, and it, therefore it should be important to you as well. Hopefully the gun safety certified mark, hopefully this campaign will get businesses who maybe never, ever, ever even thought about this as being important to their business to now think about it. What surprised me most about the research is that out of the 29 companies that our researchers studied, 25 had an instance of gun violence in store or around their store premises. These businesses are feeling the consequences of gun violence directly. And yet not realizing they can play an active role in doing something about it and hopefully we can help them to, to get there. We are not staying in the Jamie and Joaquin tragedy. And that's so important, so important, really, because that's, that's the exactly, difference. Frankly. That is the difference. Yeah. We're not staying in Portland. We're not staying in Florida. This is beyond schools, this is beyond Parliament, this is beyond Florida, this is beyond Joaquin and Jane.